Welcome if this your first time here. It's Mac the Guru. This is my review on Luther the Fallen Son, Ildris Elba's return as John Luther. And it was definitely some highlights in this movie, some things I really, really liked. But it was also some things I didn't like. And they mainly came from the budget. We're going to get into all the good and all the bad. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that like button so they push the video. And if you like this, check out the other content. Now, some good things about this movie is definitely the opening scene. It pulls you right into the movie. And I love movies like this, especially when they are thrillers. You need something to just capture you, capture the audience and just pull us in. They do a great job with that. And throughout the entire movie, they do a great job with the writing. So this is a very, very well written film. And then the actors do a great job acting. You know, it's written good. The actors act good. And it's definitely a step up from the series. You can tell that it's not a series. It is a movie. And it looked like that. The problem is the budget. They didn't quite have the budget to really make this movie as good as it could have been. With the actors they got. With the writing that they had. The script was great. This movie could have really been great. If they would have had the budget. Not saying it's just a horrible movie or a bad movie. But it's not going to go down as like a classic movie. And hopefully he get another Luther that get a budget, bigger budget. But this didn't have that. And you could definitely tell. Some highlights from the bad portion of it got to be towards the end. They come across people that supposed to be uh, bodies of people that's already passed away. And it looks horrible. Like they got mannequins hanging. And it's just like, what are you doing? Like, come on now. Not mannequins. You could have came with anything else. But no, not mannequins. Like, you could have put bodies on a string and let it be real people. And I could have seen them breathing. And it would have been better than looking at mannequins hanging. And I supposed to think that that is like a real person. But with that being said, it was still some real, real great scenes. One scene got to be the action scene with Luther. He went to jail, but when he's getting out of the prison, he has to, you know, have a little fight. And I'm not going to say exactly how he got out, but, you know, it's an action scene. And that was performed well, and it was shot well. That action scene was very powerful in the movie. Probably the best action scene in the movie. Even though it was a few more that were pretty good. It was a train action scene that was pretty good. And, you know, the hand-to-hand -hand fighting looked very well. Um, besides that, you also had people that were uh, doing harm to themselves. Those scenes really stood out to me and was really... And also really thrill-seeking because... You kind of didn't know if they were going to be able to harm themselves or not. But, you know, some people did. And some people were stopped before they could. But it was thrill-seeking how they just set it up. And you end up waiting to see, oh, my God, is it going to be another person that's going to harm themselves? Which leads me to the villain. The villain was just as great of an actor and really stood out in this. Just like Ildris Elba did. Uh, the guy that played the villain was uh, David Roby. Very great actor. I didn't seen him in a lot of stuff. And he was real great in this. Like he plays a villain that you will not like. This guy was really crazy and deranged. And his plan was to just encourage and incite all of these people that uh feel like they weren't cool so they grounded the the villain and made you understand why he was doing what he was doing and why so many people complied and actually worked with him now with that being said it was so much good 
in this movie, but I still have to take away a little bit because of the production. So you know on the channel we do seven stars. I've been giving out 6.2 and 6.3 a lot. This movie quite didn't get to that level, but it still wasn't a horrible movie and would be a very, very good watch. So I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 7 stars. Make sure you check out this movie. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you thought about the movie if you already seen it. And as always, y'all be easy, be safe, peace.